See that right there? <laughs> what, what was her record last year? Five and seven. You see that man right there? That's the face of a five and seven Pac-12 football team. What's going on guys? Welcome to a new episode of Weston's Vlogs. Today, I'm standing behind Jed Fish. It's an outdated, an outdated picture, banner thing. Basically, we're going to the signing class of 2023. Jed Fish is gonna be talking about all the U of A recruits that they got. It's like a signing day, a little introduction to the team. So I'll go ahead and see you guys there. Oh yeah, but it should be a pretty good video. Um, this is the stadium right here in case you guys didn't know. And then I'm pretty sure the stadium we're going to or the facility is right over there. This is what is the Cole and Janie Davis uh, Sports Center. It's like a fairly new sports center where a bunch of the players practice for football and just a bunch of indoor conditioning so i am rocking the img academy we do have some img uh signees today hair is acting a little crazy to get a perm if you see that but should be pretty good almost there there's chuck cecil right there there's mr fish as soon as we walk in didn't even realize they give us free food that's awesome <laughs> My name is Yogi Roth, college football analyst at the Pac-12 Networks. Really honored to be here in the Cole and Jeannie Davis Sports Center and be around a lot of you. Uh, terrific people that you're gonna hear from, uh, great little stories. Uh, but uh, again, I wanna thank all of you for your support, uh, your belief in this program, you know, our Wildcat Club members, uh, those who have helped us through name, image, and likeness and helped our student athletes, our season ticket holders. Everyone plays a part in, the, in this program and what we do. Thank you, Yogi. Uh, fantastic. I appreciate that very much. I uh, appreciate Dave for everything that Dave said earlier. I uh, do want to say thank you to a few people first and foremost for making it here today. Top 300 players join our program. In the last two years we've had seven. In this year's class we have 11 players that are ranked in the top 1,000 out of our high school seniors. That's 11 out of our 24. The most we've had here in the last 16 years was nine. In the previous 10 years, we've signed 13 four-star and five-star signings. In the last two years, we've signed 10. And this is the first time in program history that we've had two top 40 recruiting classes in a row. So all of our personnel department should be very proud of what we've accomplished. And I can tell you that good players make good coaches. So to have the players we have here, we're very fortunate and we're very excited to get to where we want to be. We're looking to sell this place out. We're looking to have the best home field environment and we're looking for all of you to be at all of our games. Thank you all so much. Oh, about what Jet Fish is doing over there, who he's bringing in, and I don't even hear it from my sources that Justin Flo could be bringing his talents to Tucson. So we got him, Batum, Noah, Norton, and the rest of the portal are really, man, I can't wait to see what they do when it comes to the draft. And look what they did last year, right, just offensively. This is what Jed Fish does. He turns programs around. The biggest turnaround in college football history in explosive offensive plays going from bottom five to top five. Listen, Yogi, I got to get back to my day job, man. I got to go cover a Super Bowl here. So back to you on the three agent acquisitions. He's going to do a dominant job for us. He's a big man who's athletic, something we need on the Wildcat defense desperately. He's got power, he's explosive, he can accelerate. And the most important thing is he can burst to the quarterback. For a guy his size, it's really important. And the other thing we stress in Arizona all the time is collapse the pocket, push the pocket back. And that's what Tyler does. And with his arm length, he'll back passes down and he'll disrupt the quarterback. He knows our scheme and he'll contribute right away. Georgia, big part of their defensive front, which we know most of those guys get drafted all the time. He's got great size, he's tough inside, hard for the centers to block. You know, when a guy when plays offensive center, he gets a big man lined up against him, he tends to get a little nervous. Bill's good at doing that. He's battle-tested in a career in the Southeast Conference. He's played against the best. He will make the inside of our run defense much stronger. A unanimous five-star recruit which is saying something. Goes to Eugene, comes down here, and he will be the guy that plays no linebacker and goes sideline to sideline. His speed and athleticism is rare. He's a great tackler, can create fumbles upon contact, and he's gonna give us the speed that we need at middle linebacker to separate our defense and really close the gap on the Pac-12.
rusher. We tried to block him last year, it was a challenge. He can get to the quarterback with his speed and explosiveness. He's got to burst off the block, which is really important when you're rushing the pass. So the University of Washington, by the way, of Northern California. Downhill player, someone who plays with great burst, acceleration, goes sideline to sideline, and has a tremendous closing burst. He is a personal player for the two but he comes with some swag. He's a definite all-around athlete who never leaves the field. He played defensive back, he played wide receiver, plus he's a return specialist. Anytime we can incorporate a four-down player into our team, we've got to take a look at that. And I think he'll be able to even help us as a Wildcat quarterback. Ted Fish is doing over there, bolstering the trenches. It's unbelievable. I mean, people are trying to come out of everywhere to join out there in Arizona. Hey, look at this guy right here. Come on, Jed. Hey, man, I hear his next two years. He'll just really be giving out. Come on, baby, I'm ready. Dude, Let's go. Dude, you wildcats, baby. I don't think you can make it. I don't think you can make it. Oh, really? I don't think you can make it. Yeah, I don't think you can make it. You're going to be a mascot or something. Okay, there you go. Edward the River. Try to drive. Bear down, baby. Bear down. Back to you guys. Thanks, Jed. Moses, Julian Sabanaya, and Ari in Parrish to my friend in Bristol. What you got? Calvin Hunter, dynamic two-way player in high school who could have easily been recruited to play wide receiver. Big body, a 6'2 defensive back with tremendous length and speed. His offensive background will lend itself to creating turnovers. This Wildcat defense will be big, fast, and rangy on the back end with guys like this coming in. And the middle of the field. 6'2, 200 pound safety. His Hamilton. physical potential is off the charts. Excellent range and aggressive making plays on the ball. My favorite part about his game if he picks it off, he's looking to take it to the house. Let's go, Hamilton. I'm a play off the ball linebacker in Tucson. Smart, aggressive. He arrives to the ball with bad intentions. Love this kid, has some pass rush, savvy about him, and can get naturally to the quarterback on passing downs. Stood out at the Polynesian Bowl this past month and figures to be an early contributor for this Wildcats defense. From Friday Night Lights Country, 10 600 meter runner. Can run stride for stride with anybody in the Pac-12. Aggression and versatility stand out. He's played corner, safety, wide receiver, wildcat quarterback, and returned punts and kicks for his high school team. His skill set will open up a lot of options for Johnny Nance. <laughs> One of the newest members of the Wildcats defensive line. This kid's game is all about motor, toughness, and being disruptive. Just like his older brother, explosive power comes naturally to him, can play the run, and rush the passer. Welcome to Tucson. Parents have consistent high school programs in America. This guy will make you feel him out there. Type of explosive hitter that receivers dread facing. I know a Chuck Cecil guy when I see one. And Arian Parrish will make him proud. All right. Electric athletes on the West Coast the past two years, coming from a story program in Corona Centennial High School that has put out dozens of elite college football players. He brings length, downfield explosive ability, and can make plays after the catch. Final! <laughs>
good, but has a bright long, long term future plan on Brennan Carroll's offensive line here in Tucson. Treats every play like it's a street fight. Comes off the ball with great explosion. His athletic ability makes him a great fit up front in Arizona's game run game. Coleman. Jackson is a big physical receiver who has been one of the very best players in Southern California's Trinity League for the past few seasons. Average over 20 yards per catch as a senior. He will be an exciting addition to that room and likely, likely a QB favorite with his penchant for catching contested balls. Johnson, taking ability. This is a kid who plays the 10, 500 meter on the track in high school. Can catch the ball out of the backfield, smart, and understands his role in pass protection. A great fit for this offense who can also be featured as a kick returner. That's right, Yogi. I'm so fired up about Braden Dorman, top player in Colorado. He's got prototypical size, arm talent. Watching this guy, the steady trajectory each and every year, put it all together senior year. I'm so excited to see what this guy looks like in Jed Fish's offense. We saw how he is with elite talent around him last month at the Polynesian Bowl. Can't wait to see what he does at the next level at Arizona. Incredible job that he did tonight hosting this event. Uh, we'll just, uh, T Max said to me, why didn't we get this? So we're going to just keep raising the bar, T. Raise the bar. Next year, who knows who might be here? So uh, hopefully, all of you are. Hopefully, we get all of your support to continue uh, to get our student athletes to grow. Um, and really, Dave, thank you again for allowing us to do this tonight. And uh, let's go watch our basketball team go win a game. Uh, one more, uh, get ourselves closer to that number one seed. Big game tonight, hope to see everybody over there. Thanks again, appreciate it. Yeah, baby.